Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, man? It's your boy Shaw. Shaw vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 155. We got a uh, young guest in the building today, man. We got a rapper, singer. He just got uh, nominated top three for Detroit favorite up and coming artist, too, man. Only one Jackson. Yes, sir. What's, What's up? Man? What's your How you doing? How y'all feeling? I'm good, man. How about you? Man, I feel blessed, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Feeling feel blessed. Good. Before we get to that, though, we always start everything off with a salute me while I'm here. A salute is when you can give somebody some flowers who can, you know, saying receiving while he's still here. A lot right. of times we wait for people to, you know, pass away to right. give them their flowers and tell them how much we love him or her instead of giving them the flowers while he can, you know, still receive them. Right. But it can't be a typical answer. It can't be if you got a lady, it can't be parents, siblings. It got to be somebody out of that circle. And it got to be alive. Okay. Because a lot of times people be <laughs> shouting out people that passed away like, salute me while I'm here, not while I'm gone. Right. <laughs> so you got somebody you want to give some flowers to and, you know, show some love to? Um, I definitely want to uh show love to uh Mintz. Okay. Um, you know, pray for Mintz. Uh, he got into a bad accident. Yeah. Not too long ago, somebody who was um very energetic with music and stuff, and um, you know, he's in a tough situation right now. So definitely want to give him his flowers and for sure. pray for him. Yeah. Oh, for yeah, for sure. No, definitely pray for him, man. Definitely shout out to him. Um, man, like I said, it's episode one fifty five. I ain't got too many salutes left in me, but. This is the last day for uh, Women's uh, International Women's Month. Yeah. So I want to go ahead and shout out all the mothers, all the hardworking ladies out here. You know what I'm saying? Salute to y'all. Uh, keep it going. Like I said on my uh, producer show earlier, without y'all, we nobody. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things we do is for women. You know what I'm saying? And we wouldn't be where we are without women. So mm-hmm. I want to shout out all the mothers out there and just all the hardworking ladies. You feel me? So, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got your uh, your mom, your manager is right here in the building and stuff. Yes, yes. Oh, shout out my mother. Yeah, shout out to her, so. man. Now, um, that's your manager. Yes. You know, uh, talk about that relationship and like, you know, a lot of times we see these artists, they get in the game with, you know, saying friends, family as their, you know, manager or just people they work with. And then when money come into the play, things start to, you know, alter and stuff like no. what's one thing or a few things you would do to make sure that relationship never break when it, when the money comes to the, you know, saying picture. Um, definitely continue to communicate and be be on the same page as far as what the goal is you know and um i feel like you know just making sure that we we still keep that bond and that connection with each other yeah and um you know it's about trust you know especially because it's my mother so out of anybody you know i would trust her most to be my manager you know yeah she's gonna do you dirty right yeah (laughs) she ain't gonna do me dirty so you know, that's um I feel like, you know, it's just about trust and making sure that, you know, you still had that connection. Yeah. You know. Are y'all ever like is it ever like, okay, mom, we can't even have mom son time. We gotta have artist manager time. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. All all the time. We when it comes down to music, it's not oh you my son or oh, you my mom yeah, yeah. it's like we strictly business yeah for sure you know? and we we've even bumped heads a couple of times you know because you know that's you know that's what problem with it. <laughs> that, that, but uh definitely you know yeah. that's was ever bumping heads like oh I can't talk to you for a couple of days, mom? Like, oh uh, <laughs> no, it but it it's almost got it's almost gotten there where I'll be like. You know, it's a couple times she be like, "I'm not your manager no <laughs> more." <laughs> but yeah, it's, no. But I love it. Like I love the you know connection that we have, and when we on point, and when we you know agree with each other, it's like we can't be stopped. You yeah, know? yeah. So yeah, now do your mom keep it real with you? Like if it's all the time, as far as like your music, like oh, I ain't feeling that. Man, yeah. like <laughs> it's been some days I'll be mad. Like yeah, you put your heart to this. I put my heart into this song, and yeah. she'll be like, "That ain't it. Yeah. I don't like that." You got to go re-record that or do something. And I'll go, like, I'll wait 
I'll be like, man, I don't care what she told me. But then I'll go do it again, and I'll be like, oh, you sound better. She, yeah. No, she she not one of the, the moms that be like, oh, my son. Like, yeah. you know, she going to always keep it real. No, you got to. You got to have those people in your circle that's going to tell you when something is good, when something is bad. Yeah. We need to change a little something. Like, you need those people in your life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Now, um, Detroit favorite up-and-coming artist. You just got nominated for that this morning. This morning. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So how you feel about that? Like... Well, it was a list of, uh, I want to say, maybe 12 to 16. Yeah, yeah, 12 to 16 people. Um, Shout out to everybody that was on that list, though. Like, you know, that's, that's a big accomplishment to even just be, you know, notified and mentioned, yeah. you know. But I was I was in awe. Yeah. I woke up this morning. I was watching it all morning. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, man, like, yeah. you know, when I seen it, 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 it didn't feel real. Yeah. It didn't feel yeah. real because, you know, it's a big accomplishment to me, you mm -hmm. know, because, you know, I, I kind of just started like two years ago, yeah. you know, as far as like getting yeah, out here, yeah. yeah, like getting out here and trying to do podcasts and do shows and all of that yeah. but i had been you know i've been making music and you know yeah for a little while now yeah but yeah. so definitely getting that was it's a big accomplishment and i'm blessed and i prayed about it this morning and yeah. you know no for sure answer my prayers you yeah, know because sure, i think it's you uh pretty brea and jay San santino santino yeah because yeah. he's yeah. supposed to come on the show uh one of these days too yeah. Yeah, because uh, now out of those um, you know, people, not just those three, but the people that was nominated in general, right? Um, did you work with any of these artists? Um, actually, I I haven't. Mm -hmm. Um, I've I've seen Asaka the Renegade a couple of times. Oh, he's nice. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, nice. Yeah. We've been cool. Um, I I definitely haven't worked with Babyface Ray. <laughs> not yet. No, but, so yeah, it's gonna happen. But, yeah, not yet. But um, yeah, no, I um, nobody in that list i had worked with yeah but um you know like i said shout out to them though and see i don't think that would have been fair either for babyface ray to really be on there with everybody else that's mm -hmm. on the scene because i feel like he already a, a known artist that got a major yeah. deal so, but but i would say like, like i told people i was like he he kind of was like up and coming like yeah. last year was his like breakout breakout yeah. year you know, paperwork party and mm -hmm. all of that. Like, it, 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 last year was his big year. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm like, okay, I guess I can understand why yeah. he was um, put into the up and coming. Yeah, I still have some type of ways of artists. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking about I was thinking about it, but I was like, you know, I I was like, I understand. Yeah, you know? yeah. Now, is this, um, because, um, uh, give me a little information as far as like when they do the whole ceremony is going to be at a certain venue like where where yeah i think um i believe it's downtown they haven't gave the um uh, full details yet but it'll be september yeah in september so are you already thinking about the you know saying the gear to drip you oh, yeah. oh yeah we was just talking about that this yeah. morning. i'm like man i gotta i, 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 I gotta be yeah. fresh man but no, for sure. yeah yeah shout out to everybody who was nominated shout out to everybody that was selected yeah. you know what i'm saying uh next year i should definitely be on a podcast you know what i'm saying but it's all good yeah. i ain't gonna cry on um your interview yeah. <laughs> that's all that's all that's this is all about you damn now um this is 2023 talk about last year man like what was some ups and downs for you last year like how was your uh how was your year last year as far as music and just life in general um last year it wasn't bad i i feel like uh 2020 2022 was like my year of um experimenting more oh, you know 2021 i feel like it was a it was an okay year. Mm -hmm. You know, we all know how 2020. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, man. yeah, 2022, it felt like it was just things was just starting mm -hmm. to roll a little bit. Yeah. But, um, I feel like this year is, it's, um, definitely reaching yeah. and I'm moving up now. Hold on, Rico, but, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said 2020. Bro, was you, were you a senior in high school? Yeah. Yeah, no. Wait, let me see. No, no, I was a junior. Oh, dog. I was a junior, man. I was a junior, actually, because I graduated in 2021. I'm old. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, oh, four. I'm going on 20 years next year. Oh, man. Duh, that's crazy, man. So, no, so talk about that, because when you, it just made me think about, like, the year my son had, he was in middle school at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, how was it for you, like, going through, not you not going to class, you online, like, mm -hmm. was it tough for you, bro? No, it was amazing. I was just sleeping in my bed. <laughs> I was in class, like, laying down, 
yeah. doing my yeah. assignments, yeah. but um, it definitely I will say the um, the pandemic was a blessing and a curse. Yeah, because as I was in the house, I was able to do more, mm -hmm. like and think more about everything yeah. I needed to do for sure. And definitely during quarantine, that's when I got my studio equipment okay okay and okay i was able to engineer my music and learn so, actually yeah, sit yeah. down and learn it and obviously i couldn't go nowhere yeah. so it was like i had i sat down for months mm -hmm. just learning how to do you know music and do different things but yeah. it was uh, no nah, you know i had no complaints for a minute because i was like hey you know i party throughout high school yeah. already yeah. you know and my little cousin, because he he was a senior, so he didn't go through like he didn't get to experience prom and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, now that 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 was the messed up part yeah, for yeah. twenty twenty class, because yeah. the next year I got to experience prom, but it I mean it still wasn't the same. It still was always yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah. all. But at least I'm like at least I got to have a graduation because they didn't have a graduation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Man, that's that's funny. Damn, you young, bro. It's congrats to you, man. Congrats for being young, man. Because like once you graduate, once you get out of high school, it's like he told me as soon as I graduate high school, it's like life just fast forward. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. up until 12th grade, it's like everything was slow as a kid. Yeah. So when you turn 18 and you graduate, it's like, oh, they go yeah. life. Like it's like, man. It's a, it yeah. life ain't nothing but working. Man, <laughs> exactly. Work, exactly. Work, exactly. That's man. It. Now when you going and going into this year. You say you you know saying you getting you reaching heights that you want to with the music. Right. What were some things you like goals of yours for the for the you know new year twenty twenty three? Uh, definitely market more mm -hmm. on the internet. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I I definitely wanted to market more in this album. This album was I have been working on this album for two years. Yeah. So I um I definitely that was also one of my goals to drop the album. Mm -hmm and have a release party and um you know just amounts of different you know different things yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so now what's some what's something you learned about yourself man like that you could work on or you know you was capable of doing like what's some things that you learned about yourself you know saying with the, within these last you know year or two being a you know out of high school and things like that being an artist um i learned that just you know it it, it takes hard work and dedication in order to be great mm -hmm. and i had to learn that nothing is handed to you yeah. nothing is ever going to be handed to you and you have to if you want to get something you got to go get it mm -hmm. you know for sure. and um even with as far as the music thing like performing like you know just getting better at that yeah. looking at my first performance um to my to my just recent performance i see a growth yeah and i learned like okay i w what i learned from it uh, from performing and everything is you have to be able to connect with the audience mm -hmm. you got to connect and you know you got to show you know how passionate you are in your music and they're gonna be passionate too, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. so yeah now yeah. being 19 man i know you know um uh, a lot of people say, like, yo, you young, I don't, you know, yeah, yeah. you got nothing to worry about. Or, you know, older kids, older, older people kind of like, man, what you complain about? You're 19. But yeah. give us some, like, some struggles of your young life. Like, what you go through, man. Like, because a lot of times older people don't even even take time to hear what somebody young got to say about life. Like, they, man, you ain't live. I mean, you haven't lived, but. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but, like, what's some things that you that you face with, like, be, being 19 and a young black adult? Um, I think what I face is being um african american mm -hmm. in this time for sure and i feel like it, it, it don't matter what age it is i feel like you know it's it's definitely three strikes against you mm -hmm. and um you, you know people look at me sometimes in a way of, oh he might be a knucklehead until they yeah. actually get Don't to see. know him. Yeah. yeah and i think that's one of the biggest struggles of being young Man, because yeah. people don't take you seriously sometimes mm -hmm. you know they don't take you seriously and they don't want to hear what you gotta say yeah, for you sure. know you might you just as smart as them yeah. you know and yeah. but of course everybody put age yeah, where you know, oh, yeah. be like oh well i'm 41 yeah. so yeah. that mean but you know you could be 41 but still not have your stuff together exactly you know? exactly so, exactly i think that's the hardest part about being young and being a 19 year old because sometimes people just don't they 
don't be wanting to listen yeah. to you yeah. or they just you know they can't yeah, man you're 19 you ain't live yeah, you yeah, way exactly, behind here like. exactly what you said now i want to ask you this man because um I was having this conversation with my son, 16, man. Right. Damn, old. But uh, <laughs> we had this conversation about uh, girls or uh-huh. whatever. He he said I didn't have no game <laughs> back, back in the day. Of the junk. So okay. I was telling him, like, bro, it's easier for you. You can just get on, on social media, and if you see somebody, you can go ahead and talk to them in the DM. Yeah. We, that's the one thing I can't say. We had to work for yeah, a phone yeah. number. You feel me? Like, right. you got to see her every day, figure her out. You know what I'm saying? Get the conversation right. I do that now. No, I do that now. Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, you ain't no social media uh, hunter. No, I ain't no social media hunter. I want to. I want to know you and know who you are in real life. You know, I want to, and I want to do it the authentic way. I feel like that, that's um, that's what get the girls to like you more when you come up to them. Like you know what's but, up. But you know, not being young, do I got to do is go on social media, take a shirt off or something. Yeah, no, yeah, see. <laughs> See, we ain't going we ain't gotta, Yeah, because that's exactly what be happening nowadays. No, no. Women, they, the women, they, be in y'all. Yeah. It's scary now because, like, everything didn't, didn't progress. Like, at, 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 in high school, middle school, you was, like, just dreaming about doing things, like, with boys and girls, right. stuff like that. Now it's just happening. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, girls, little girls and little boys ain't out here waiting. And like, I'm right. talking middle school. I coach right. sports. Right. And I be hearing the conversation, like, hold on, y'all 12, 13. Like, chill yeah. out, bro. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. The newer, the newer generation or my generation, it's it's crazy. The the stuff they be talking about at twelve, yeah. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, not, not even I would talk about that at twelve or thirteen years old man. and I'm nineteen. Because <laughs> yeah, I be telling my son, like, bro, wait, wait as long as you can, man. Yeah. Cause like these little girls out here be man, hot man, in the pants. Be ready, hot and ready. <laughs> For sure. Now, man, I was listening to some early work of yours, man. And you were shouting the young lady out like crazy. Oh, like, yeah, like, uh, like, yeah, that's that's that's, that, that's that's old. That's in the past. Because you know, so many people will do that. I'm like, oh, y'all done, like out here, you know? Yeah, no, that's uh, you know, we gonna we gonna touch that. We gonna let it slide. You know? Yeah. Now, are you like like this? I ain't gonna ask a whole bunch of relationship stuff, but like you being young, like. And um, you know, Heartbreak City, you know what I'm saying? You got a couple of love songs and stuff like that you gonna put out. Are you looking for like relationships or are you like, man, I'm focused on me, I'm young, I'm still trying to, you know what I'm saying, figure life out? Um, you know, I I definitely focused on me. I'm you know, I'm dealing with something right now, but sure. be, definitely um, you know, mm-hmm. trying to focus on just, you know, my career. Yeah. You know, but at, at the same time, I I can multitask. For sure. So, For sure. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah, shout out to all the Keishas and Felicias yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what's your day-to-day life away from music, man? What bring you fun just minus the music and stuff, man? What you what, what you get into? Basketball. Yeah. Basketball. Now, when you say basketball, though, like, can you hoop for real? A lot of people say my basketball. Boy, my boy on the live right now, he yeah. already know how we get down. Yeah. Yeah, Bmo, shout out Bmo. Yeah. yeah, we yeah we can hope. Yeah, because like, I, I mean, I, that's one thing about me, like bro. I never like I hate when I ain't met so many people that say you can hoop, uh-huh. and then you see him, you're like, oh, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I know I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying because some people. Some people do. Now I ain't about to sit here and be like, "Hey, I'm do Steph Curry." Yeah, yeah, for sure. Game. But yeah, no, I yeah. you know when when we get on the court, it's competition. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah, you know? man. See, I always sell myself short, so you didn't be surprised. Yeah, like, I'm alright, you know. I'm yeah, yeah. Decent. Yeah, yeah. But now I can't. Nah, I tried to hoop the other day, bro. When I I'm I'm lying. Not the other day, a couple months ago. Uh-huh. Everything was hurting. That's like everything, right? So yeah, uh-huh. man. That's if you don't hoop, like once you stop hooping. And it started becoming like a once every blue moon thing. Man, everything was hurting on me, bro. Yeah. My hand, like everything, man. Like I was shooting the ball so much, this was hurting my muscle. Man. Dang. <laughs> like, man. He bro. just said on the uh lie, yes, he can hoop. Man, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. What was your what was your specialty, man? You a shooter, handles, you know, who shooter, defense. Okay, okay. Yeah, I hate people. Handle smoke. <laughs> like dog, damn, come on, chill out, bro. <laughs> it depends. It depends. You gotta um especially street ball defense, mm-hmm. man. It's, this ain't gonna be no um yeah. you know, you're gonna get a foul every every time you drive to the paint type For sure. of thing. For sure. Now dog, what's the um with your young career or just life in general? What's give me the worst advice and best advice you got so far? Um the best the best advice I've gotten is 
definitely to and invest and save money mm -hmm. that's one of the best you know save money at a young age and you know watch it grow the worst is to me i i, I really people always be like oh you young you got time mm -hmm. you got time to do this but i really don't no, you don't no, there's sure. never enough time in the world no for sure you know uh especially because it's gonna go past like yeah. next week i'm about to be 20 yeah. years old already you yeah. know so it's like um you know i hear that and it's i want to say it's like worse advice but it's just like no it is some bad advice though sometimes because yeah. like they told me that like but then that's thing you do you look up it's five years and past yeah, have yeah. a fun not really like when you could put the time and, and effort in right now as a young 19 year old right. kid by the time you're 25 26 you you can be kind of yeah, chill a little bit. Definitely, like you can reach to a different level because if you you gotta start, you know, young, hard working, so that you know that's why I I don't disagree with nine to fives because the nine to fives are honestly preparing you for when you want to build your own business. For sure, because yeah. if you work hard here and yeah. you do that here, you are gonna do that to, for yourself, man. For sure, you know? for sure. Like, and that's my um my cousin. Uh, her uh, she in relationship with a uh, dude from uh Nigeria, mm -hmm. and he was he came over here and was like, man, like y'all spoiled, like yeah, he, yeah. He was at Walmart. He was like, all y'all gotta do is work. And that's <laughs> it. No, he was just like he was working so hard that the other employees was, was mad at him. Wow. And he wound up got promoted. He he over everybody now. Right. You know, within a couple of years, he like, man, y'all lazy out here. Like, right. Yeah. You, know, see, you see what I mean? That's, yeah. that's exactly. So, like, so you mean somebody you got to go to work, be on time, and just work hard? And he did that and shit. He, he he, one of the top dudes in there, like making right. good money and stuff, man. Right. He took that little small position and and ran with it. So yeah, that's hey, like I said, that's that's the beauty of a nine to five and or, you know, just being having something small and being able to work, yeah. you know, build it brick by brick. And you gotta know, like when you work in this nine to five, that ain't the end all be all. You still gotta go ahead and you know you can work that nine to five, but still you know take a couple hours for your yeah. dreams and passion. Hey, of course. Yeah. Now I'm gonna ask you this, man. A lot. I never had you know somebody under twenty one. I asked this question to since they be on the show. And I don't know if you're gonna answer it, but when the last time you cried, man? What was the reason? Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I I did. What was this last Saturday? <laughs> last Saturday. recently, yeah, it yeah. Was it was um. Well, it was because um one of one of my um one of my close friends he had um passed away. So yeah, rest yeah, in yeah, yeah. He passed yeah. away. Um. You know, no, without without anything like that, what's 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 something that made you cry? It's my like movie, uh, uh, TV show moment, like just just I remember I cried just um just talking just talking about yeah. life one day, yeah. and I just I went like oh like but I was like until I I felt the tear come down. I'm like man, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, man. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's probably the last time I yeah. like, cried. Like, other than that, you know, what I'm saying? for sure, for sure. I remember my son saw me cry, man, when Kobe died. Oh man, he's you know, my that friend. Was crazy, man. I, I was, like he was my brother, man. That the, the Kobe thing that 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 told me up too. I'm not gonna lie. I think that that affected a lot. If you was a a basket, not even just a basket, yeah, just a, yeah. Man, but just a just knowing Kobe exactly. as a Man, man, that was, was I was just did a show. Got got done with the show. Check my phone. Like, oh, this must be you know a lot, or whatever. Then I saw like ESPN report. Like, oh, bro. I was like, man. And then when I heard the daughter, I think with it, hearing the daughter yeah. was in the helicopter yeah. too. It's like yeah. the worst. Yeah, man. So what's been your first uh, adult decision, man? That you felt you had to make? Um, I definitely. I um recently just bought um uh, my own car. Oh, shoot, that's what's up. I got my own Mercedes. Oh, dude, you so, you out here living good? Man. You know, I, <laughs> so I was. That was that was one of my best. Um, I was happy about that. Yeah. You know, investing in it myself. So how would you feel it though? Like pulling up in that mud? Like you really, man? Like, I was, you feel yourself on time ten? I was feeling good. Yeah. You know, I was I was definitely feeling good because it was my own. For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to you, man. My first car was of course it's good. Oh, really? Ninety cents. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah. I'm the car on that boy too. <laughs> Man, I, I appreciate it. No, for sure. That's what's up. That's what's up, y'all. Definitely, uh, you may get your own stuff like that. Got make you feel good, man. But yeah, I feel good with that Corsica too. I was tired catching the bus. <laughs> you what? You know my first car? What a a Cadillac. Cadillac. No, you ain't <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> boiling, bro. That's what yeah. Cali, and that's expensive, like to even get the repairs fixed too. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no, okay, no. That's the, this the bad part about yeah. having them cars. Yeah. I just man, it just broke down not too long ago, man. and I'm like, man, man, it took. It feel like you paying it all over again. Yeah, for, <laughs> sure. for sure, because my boy had Cali, like, man. That joke is not an easy fix when something yeah, happens, no, man. No, no, not at all. Yeah, man. Shout out to you, though, man. The, the, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you said Mustang? No, but say, say, say yeah, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah, 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 You out here doing it, though. You killing it. I need to be like you when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> now, um, if you had to tell somebody about, tell someone about yourself, but only using music, a song, an album, your song, it could be an industry song, what would be a song that you would, you know what I'm saying, tell people to listen to that would best describe you? Um, Definitely. It's, it's, can I do an unreleased? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my song, Often, mm -hmm. I feel like it, Um, like, of course, there's some things in there that's, that's you know, yeah, not, personal. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like that song that is gonna be on my Heartbreak City album. I mm -hmm. think it just basically sometimes that's how I feel. Yeah, you know? yeah. And sometimes that's what I think in my head. Mm -hmm. And it just you know, it just lets you know about me a little bit. For sure, for sure. Know? Now people going through like you say like going through, what was going through in your head is personal and stuff, like when you're going through some things, man, outside your uh I, I can't say outside your mind, but who can you talk to when you're going through like personal problems or issues and stuff? Because right, right now we are into like mental health and make sure everything is all good with us and stuff. But mm. who are those outlets you got to talk to? Um, definitely, uh, my friends. Mm. Uh, my friends are, you know, one of my, you know, one of my sources that I go to talk to yeah. about my problems and stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely shout out them. But you know, like they really listening and giving you feedback. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. really listening and giving me feedback and let me know what they think and stuff. So yeah, cause my homies, you tell them something. They back then, they be like, man, you don't. Yeah, they, 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 no, they yeah. actually, you know, they actually listen though. Yeah, that's what's up. No, that's dope for real. You need those friends, those because sometimes you need something outside. Like if you're in a relationship with your mom or your pops, mm -hmm. you need somebody outside that that ear because they are gonna probably give you like you know what I'm saying right the typical answer because you ain't you know what I'm saying they you close to them. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Now give me an album that changed your life, bro. You talking about in general? Mm -hmm. That you listen to like, like, bro, like this, like, like, um, all the time. Yeah, is this an album that you can relate to and just go back and listen to every time? Like, you know, Man. like this the album that changed everything for me. Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kendrick yeah. Lamar. No, for sure. That for sure. not only because obviously Kendrick, my favorite. He he is my favorite artist like, yeah. ever. Yeah, but. That album, like I, I put that album at my number one, and I, of course, like you got the classics like Good Kid, Mad City, and the sure. and all of that. But yeah. it's like that album, you can you you can feel, you know what I'm saying? You can feel the pain for sure that he was going through through that whole album. Yeah, and you got to like really listen to what he's saying. Yeah, and, you know, it's funny you say that. Cause I listen to your project. I believe it was, a, it was your second full in project, uh, Watch, Watch That Flat Boy. Boy Fly. You, yeah. And to me, your, your cadence and the way you sound, I don't know if you listen to Kendrick Lamar had a, a mistake back in the day called, uh, it was self-titled Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. To me, yeah. like, like, you sound, y'all kind of, you kind of sound like him a little yeah, bit, though. Like, yeah. I was, because the whole time I'm listening, I'm like, damn, he kind of remind me of how Kendrick Flow was on that, on, on that, on that, um, on that mixtape. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of see why you say, you know what I'm saying? That's somebody you look up to as far as in the music game. Yeah. Him and J, him and J. Cole for sure. And Drake. Them, them three. Now, the three headed monsters. You said Drake, man. Oh, well, let's, let's do it. You said. He was top five, bro. He I saw, but he he is, man. All right, talk to me. Tell me why, man. Why? Yeah. Drake, Drake. Listen, <laughs> he opened the door for for so many rappers. Like yeah. he showed you, I can rap yeah. and I can sing for sure. And I'm not scared to do both. Yeah. Other rappers, and I feel like he's been a big influence on that in the mm. industry because it's a lot, a lot of rappers. Yeah, well, on that. They they were rapping and singing back then. Before him, yeah. who can you name that was that was I mean, rapping yeah, and singing? You, you, you Ruba, he wasn't like no no singer. Oh, singer no, singer. no, but I'm saying like actually like yeah, you know, like blowing, like really like singing for real. 
not only that, this dude touching different genres. He was yeah. another person, the first person to me touching different genres too. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It, it's just a lot about Drake. Drake is a, he should definitely be a top twenty five. Twenty five? No man, come on, bro. Twenty five is crazy. Top five. No, I can't put him over certain people, bro. No. I can't put him over Wayne. No, well, you, you definitely can't you put, put him over Wayne. Hove. No, I, I can't put, put him over Nas. I can't put him over Nas. No, bro, I can't put can't put him over DMX. Yeah, yeah yes, we can, man. <laughs> we can't put Drake over DMX I, and Nas. I, see, I can't put him over as I'm talking about because you saying he touching different genres in this, that, and third. This is overall, just overall, like. Yeah, look, I, look at him so, overall. So overall, I can't even put him over Snoop. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, no, no. And now I ain't gonna disrespect Drake. Top fifteen. He, man, he top five. <laughs> top fifteen. He went when, when Drake <laughs> retired, and when no, when, when, when long, conversation. Yeah, no, no, no. Right. Well, yeah. see, you see, it's just like okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna use LeBron for example. All right, go ahead. LeBron James. People don't think he the goat right now, yeah. Because Michael Jordan was the first goat. Yeah, yeah. He was the first goat. You, you know, you had Larry Bird and Magic Johnson in yeah. them, but they weren't calling them goats. No, they were just, they were just great players. Yeah, they just were great players. Yeah. But he was the original. So everybody, I feel like everybody go based off of the original. Yeah, for sure. and try no, to no, be no. like, oh, that you know, yeah, they're the goat. Yeah. But look at what LeBron has did. Yeah. And Drake is basically LeBron in the rap industry. You know no, what I'm saying? That's a good comparison as far as like that. But when I talk about a goat, bro, like it's like ain't nothing, ain't no, you can't really take away nothing from LeBron. But Jordan, dog, you talking about a dude who won MVP and defensive player of the year. And I get that. Look, I get yeah. that. But you're talking about a dude that's 38 years old, averaging no. 30 points. No, that's now, crazy. When, now when you say like if as far as like length and how long he been doing it, it's nobody that's done it longer than LeBron. Right, and it, I feel like that should be the, the that should settle it right yeah. there. Yeah, 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 Michael Jordan, he was done and what and on the uh, uh, wizard, he was done. <laughs> Not those wizard years, bro. No, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> if if <laughs> you do, Bron still going strong and won a championship on every single team yeah. he done been on. Like I said, don't get me wrong, LeBron's the number two best player ever. Oh. Number two, <laughs> number two, dog. Oh, it's like you oh, say, Drake top fifteen, man. This, this is crazy, this is crazy, man. I but no, can't. LeBron. When it comes to a overall, a overall player, uh huh. Like it's nobody like him. You right, 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 right. He get does. team in play and stuff. I think the only thing that messed up LeBron just it just though it's some of those some of those losses and how they how they were. Okay, the, the loss against Dallas was like, bro, that really kind of like messed up his. His um, his legendary status. Okay, look, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Well, I like that. Yeah. But what about Michael? Jo Michael Jordan got beat on by the. Yeah. Oh, no, but every, you, but every time he was, was he was getting beat on, he was learning. But nobody. But when he do it, it's like oh, he didn't have help. He yeah. it's, it's excuses for yeah. Jordan versus Brian yeah. when he had his meltdown. Yeah, it was like oh no, nah, he. He's soft. He is. He that. But see, you let, me, let me tell you this though. With, with Brian, Mike, I'm not really those those first couple of years. I'm not really like holding that against him. Right. When Brian was with Cleveland, shit, that was a regular team. You know what I'm saying? He, he was had 22. Nobody. Yeah, he was young. Yeah. Mike had didn't have the squad, so I'm not really like saying nothing before they playoffs runs. Like they was, hey, they had mediocre teams at best. Right. Right. You feel me? But once they got to those teams, like when he got to Miami, and then you go, you compare Mike having Scotty and shit like that. It just, bro, it was a different. We look at, I think older people look at it with like your heart, where your heart at, and like yeah. how do you want it? Right. Like Michael Jordan took it, like, no, nobody's winning but right. me. Right. You feel me? LeBron, he he winning, but it's like, all right, you got, you got Kyrie, you got D Way, you got Chris Bosch, you got, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking it away from him. All right, right, right. I, I just feel like when we look at goats, we look at that dog in you. I just, Michael Jordan had that dog in him. Okay, I I'll give you. That. I know what you mean, but it's like okay, and look, look, and this is another thing, like like Floyd Mayweather. I, I just had this conversation with my dog the other day. Yeah, we look at Mike Tyson. Technically, yeah. Floyd should be the greatest boxer yeah, ever. He ain't yeah. lost, yeah. but we don't look at him like that because 
he box smart. Yeah, for he sure. Box smart. He he not that nobody that's just gonna knock you out. Yeah, he, he's gonna beat you. He, he just, yeah, yeah. he's gonna get you tired, fatigued, mm -hmm. and he gonna win like that. Just like LeBron, he gonna make sure his teammates good. No, for before, sure. For sure. You know he got that dog, and you know everybody hated Jordan and Kobe on the team yeah. because it was like, hey, give me the ball, yeah, man. get out the way, please, yeah. please get out of the way. I saw, yeah. Yeah. and it's like you know they give them that look, and it's like you, bro, do you really want a team? Even though I, I get it, you got six rings, yeah, but if you notice, ain't one teammate ever said nothing bad about. Playing with LeBron. Oh no, nobody never said nothing bad about him. Yeah, no like I said, that. but I just hate the comparison too, like with LeBron and um and Mike. Yeah, just because they two different players. Yeah, that's like, okay. That's true too. Yeah, I get it's like rap styles. I hate when people compare like Tupac and Biggie, or you know what I'm saying, or like if for this generation, like you can't compare like a J Cole to a Kendrick. They make two different type of music. Yeah, so it's like on that on that argument, I don't like really comparing the two. But when it comes to like that that goat jump though, I just gotta give it to my dog Mike, man. man. Mike, and, it, it's, and this dude, like you know, how hard for me to put Brown over Kobe. Like Kobe is my favorite player because when Kobe came to the league, I was right. like ten, so it's like Kobe was my guy. Yeah. That was like I seen it, I seen everything. So it was hard for me to be like, all right, I'm a leapfrog Kobe. You know, what I'm saying yeah. Brown over Kobe and Kobe top ten too, but Kobe top five. Once the top five, yeah, no. probably top three. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he not he not top three. But he just for that though. No, no, you know, and I love Kobe, bro. Yeah. But he the one the one MVP, I think that's it is. But they, they kinda play him a lot. Like, you know, people like shit, Brian should have more MVPs than what he got. Yeah, the MVP trophy is always true. Kind of, he still got four. Yeah, he ain't. still got four. LeBron should that's legit it. have about seven MVPs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like MVP, I don't really count that because like that's just a a popularity, like who got the best record, this, then, the yeah. third. It's not really like the most valuable. If you take this dude away, your team ain't nothing. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah, but yeah, man, you know, Drake number 15, Brown number two. <laughs> it's all good, dog. But uh, is basketball something like you, you know, did you have a passion for that growing up? Like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go to that, the league or I'm gonna go to college. Definitely. That was that, that was my first, second pet. Of course, music was my first, but. Basketball was my second passion. Like in in high school, I that, that, that's all I focused on. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. focused on basketball. Like here and there, I was still writing music and stuff, but I was like, oh, I want to go to the league and all of that. Yeah. But once obviously you start to see the politics, yeah, of it, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, no, you no, got to be on the AAU team. You got to you got to pay the money. You got to pay to get up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like yeah. you doing music yeah. in a certain way. No, for yeah. sure, for sure. Now talk about growing up, man. We didn't talk about you know a lot of different things, man. Talk about the household. Who was in the house? You know how was it growing up? You know what side of town you from? All that good stuff. Um, you know I grew up with my um. With my mother, my mm -hmm. grandmother, my whole life. Um, okay. I had my, you know, shout out my stepdad, mm -hmm. um, Brian. Mm -hmm. He, um, he, he was there. He was a father figure there. At, you know, at a certain point in my life. For but, sure. Um, I grew up on, you know, Greenfield, Nine mm -hmm. Mile Greenfield, Oak Park. Okay. Um, over there in that area, and yeah, yeah. so that's how that's how my household was. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me this, man. I always do these versus battles, man. You say you stay with moms and grandma. Yeah. Who cooking better? Mm. It's, a, it's a tough, I ain't gonna lie, it's a tough battle because then she had to learn from her. Yeah, for sure. But the grandma, she got glaucoma and still can cook. <laughs> <laughs> Still out there. Yeah, that's go. Still out there whipping man. it up. So yeah. I, shout out to I gotta give it. She the goat. Yeah, for sure. For this sure. debate, she yeah. the goat. But so she, you know, so mom's LeBron. Yeah, mom, mom's LeBron. <laughs> she, she talked too, but she, she, she LeBron in the situation. Yeah, you know, yeah. Grandma yeah. did it first. So. Well, I think about my grandma, man. I think about. Her fried chicken, man. Like we can. Oh man! What's the things you think about when your mom cooking, your grandma cooking, man? man. What's, what's the first thing? 
See, my mom, she know how to cook that that fancy stuff, yeah, like yeah. that that stuff you see on the Gordon Ramsay yeah. show and stuff. Yeah. But my grandma, she she cooked that like old school, sure. that soul food. See, and, see those and those stuff. grandmas with that, yeah. I tell you, with, yeah. with that meat hanging, yeah. like when you got that meat hanging, my grandma had that meat hanging. My great grandma, <laughs> she you know it's gonna it. be a good dish. For yeah. sure. No, for sure, man. Damn, I miss her chicken wings, boy, man. mac and cheese. That's why I tell her, I kiss her every day. Like, you know, look, don't leave me here. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. With LeBron. <laughs> Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here with LeBron. <laughs> Stay right here. I need you by my side. He's a selfish cooker, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, I mean, I, I I heard you know with your name, only one Jackson is because you know you're the first to do a lot of things in your uh in your family as as far as the male side, right? But I'm gonna ask you on the flip side, how much pressure is it on you for the ones that come after you? You being the first to do this, you know, what I'm saying, do you feel like you got to set an example now? Like they got oh, reach yeah. this bar, like I gotta make sure after me they see who I am, what I've done, and mm -hmm. they're like, damn, I gotta be like you know, what I'm saying only one Jackson, like yeah, I I feel like. You know, I feel like I definitely want to set an example because before I leave this earth and, and, you know, whenever God called me, I want to be able to set an example and leave a trademark here For sure. that, that that I accomplish um, everything that I need to accomplish, mm -hmm. you know, while I'm here on this earth. Yeah. And so um, I feel like it was, it, it, you know, it's. It's it's pressure. Yeah, it, it is pressure because especially when you have everybody looking at you mm -hmm. and being like, "Oh, he gonna do this," or exactly. he gonna do this, yeah. and, he gonna, and it's like, "Damn, I really yeah. gotta, I gotta do this." Not for sure, to, you for know. Sure. And you, you work so hard to do it, and you, it's it's a you know you overthink a lot, and you know. Yeah, and that because the name only one Jackson is kind of pressure. You gotta put pressure on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the only one Jackson. You know, like that's dope. That's a unique name for sure. I appreciate it. You yeah. know, I came up with it. I, it was my Instagram name at first, and then I was like, you know what? It's yeah. a meaning behind this. No, it's, a, for sure. it's a meaning behind this, and the reason I came up with it because I was like, I'm only one Jackson. Like yeah. I'm no other Jackson. Yeah, it's me. So it's me. Yeah, like, I'm. You know, Jackson's such a common name. Mm -hmm. It's like, but I'm only one. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah you, sh you sure don't be no uh, only Tito Jackson. Or like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only my yeah, dog. Only no, for sure. Michael. Now, did you have any names besides, before that, like that you was thinking about artist was? Uh, yeah, it was. Come on, give me that trash name. Man, man. Swiss T. <laughs> that was that was the oh, most you embarrassing. Said Swiss T? Yeah, Swiss T. What, what, what was the I don't name? I don't know what I was thinking. I just was like, hey, I'm about to I went in the room like my name gonna be Swiss T. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you changed that name, bro. Yeah. No. Only one Jackson way doper than Swiss way, T. Way, way better. Like way better. That's what I was like. Thank you. Duh, Swiss T, duh. Now uh, Swiss T. Uh, um you was doing something at uh, 36 Visions, man, because you was with my dog Verdict up there. They was doing um, in Stone. Uh -huh. What was you doing up there, man? What was going on? Um, I was um actually, shout out Nylon. She uh, wanted me to uh, be in her music video. Mm -hmm. So I was up there with them um, recording that. She actually hit me up when I was at work one day. Yeah. And she was like, um, you know... You know, I need somebody for my video. For sure. Like, yeah, I got you. you yeah. know? So for sure. Yeah, it was it was fun though. Yeah, sure. man. Now, man, one thing, man, you look, you got some good hair, man. I'm a little jealous oh, right now because I got hair. Dog. I knew, I knew I said, I was gonna ask somebody. You know, you feel me? Like, I wish I had hair, dog. My job gone. Rest in peace to my hair. It left me a long time ago, man. Like, <laughs> man, I and I'll be looking at it every day, like. I don't know if it look good. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, my um, I get asked this every day. First, the biggest question is it a wig? <laughs> I swear to God, man. I swear, I swear to God, I kid you not. I kid you not. I get asked this question every single day. Bro, I go to work. I'm be in the bathroom. Hey, I don't like your hair. Is it a wig? No. Why, why would I be walking around with a wig? Because you're not walking around with a wig. <laughs> it's something wrong, you no. know? But, yeah, no, I man, I get asked that all the time. But, really, I just, you know, two-strand twisted. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Take it out. 
Yeah. Line it up. Yeah, man. I'll be hurt, man. I'll be seeing my son. My son got dreads. I'll be like, dang, I remember them days. Oh, man. Like, you know, when you go to a barbershop and you feel good about yourself, you know. Yeah. Now, once you stop feeling good about yourself, you know, it's a, you know, dang, it's time to let it go. Yeah. I was getting a haircut, put my hat right back on. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> point me having this. Right. Might as well let it go, bro, man. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, the genetics is good with you and you don't have to go through yeah. that, bro. Yeah, we don't need y'all to lose a hair, man. Man, I ain't, I ain't gonna lose no hair. I promise. Don't stress out, man. When I'm forty, I hope I had this same hair on my head. I'm thinking, you really throw that wig on Steve Harvey style, like I yeah. I'm like at forty, I'm gonna really have to get a wig. I hope not. <laughs> no, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> now, um, on the earlier song that you had done, man, um, you had mentioned like I guess basketball being the way you found music. Oh, oh, uh, is, is that true? Life is that a true story? Like you not? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's a um a true story. My senior year, I kind of I kind of fell into like a, a deep hole in my mind where mm -hmm. it was like I felt like basketball it wasn't gonna carry me the way that you wanted. You said I wanted it to, so um I started doing like I said I started writing music and um. Honestly, when I did that, my school went crazy. Yeah. Like the, the the next time I had dropped a song, it was like everybody, because they didn't know I rap. They yeah. they knew me for just playing basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, they just knew like, oh, he played basketball. But yeah. so when I dropped the the song, I'm like, man, I hope they like it. Yeah, for sure. It's Change. Um, it's actually on that album. It's okay. called Change. Mm -hmm. Um, but. When I dropped that, everybody was like, "Oh my God, I didn't know you rap. I didn't, I didn't, you know." And everybody was just coming up to me, yeah, for sure, talking about it. It had like eight hundred views on yeah. SoundCloud yeah, in the you day. Doing it big, yeah. yeah, like it, I was like, it was crazy. Yeah. So that was, um, that's you know that that story once in a lifetime is kind of that's another um back to your question earlier that's another um song that describes me. Okay, yeah, like, yeah. not for sure. That's a good yeah. Know, yeah, no, for sure. Cause I'm like, damn, I wonder how true it is. No, oh, yeah, no, that ain't the what. That, that no, you talk about change and all. Look, see, everybody always hey, get the no back, boy. My mom, look, 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 change. I was, I was describing a story of. <laughs> I was describing a story yeah. about a young black man yeah. in this country. Yeah, for sure. And my cousin, she made it worse than what it is. She's like, what did your mama smoke crack? I'm like, bro, that's not about her. <laughs> mama had to make sure I ain't, I ain't no crackhead. She was like, what? And then she, but she knew that, but I'm like, I, I'm like so let me clear the air for everybody look my mama ain't never did crack never thought about doing it none of that i promise you yeah she had to clear that up like oh clear the record yeah no it's never i never touched no crap before mm -hmm. oh my god yeah that's funny no well, I, heard, I heard that song actually too <laughs> but i was like i knew it wasn't about your mama like i was like all right he that boy tell a story no no it's a yeah, I'm glad you, I'm glad you didn't think that because I know you probably would have been like, "Here come the crack can." Yeah. So, um, how did your mama stop smoking crack? Like, like yeah. and I would have been like, "Huh? What? What you mean?" Like, she, you say your music true? Like, yeah, no, I'm just, yeah, no, uh, man, no, that's man, that's man, man, dang! Shout out to everybody who know who getting over that crack, but uh, yeah, no, right, yeah, you no, know, I ain't doing it. Shout out to them for like, real. They, Still on crack, like that's an eighties drill. Like you still yeah, doing it? No, I feel like, it. My God, man, I was just BMF. They got Lamar smoking crack. Man, man, BMF. Man, man. Yeah, have you ever thought about acting, bro? Like, I mean, you know, yeah. See, see, how, you, see how you can get your acting bad. Yeah, man. You know, I, I I thought about it a lot. I said I wanted to, so I I want to start my music career first for sure before I act because one one thing I noticed about that. It's like once you play a character, they go. You always know. I yeah. know so many actors who are like great musicians, mm -hmm. but they're like, "Oh no, that's so and so yeah. from this show." And uh -huh. it's like they won't let you be an artist. You know what I'm saying? They won't let you try to actually get in the industry. Mm -hmm. Like you know, basically like how Fifty Cent did. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now talk about uh, first time in the studio, and what's some things that you need to make like a good studio session, man. Like, cause a lot of times, you know, you rapping in the, in the, in the room and it sound good, but it's like a different pressure once you put those, you know, headphones on and you rapping and you got the engineer and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. You, um, my first time in the studio, I was very nervous mm -hmm. because it's like, 
it, it, it's a new. Mm-hmm. Shout out Makai. He he um he helped me with that. Um, but I was I was like very nervous and mm-hmm. because I'm like you know I hope it sounds good. Yeah, for sure, you know, yeah. I hope I sound good and stuff. But he he definitely helped me like feel more comfortable recording yeah. because he'll tell me like he wasn't one of them um engineers that's like all right you know yeah, i got your song done yeah, you yeah. Know, i don't care you yeah. pay me your money and i'll mix it or whatever but he'll tell me like oh say it like this yeah go like this or mm-hmm. like say it like this you know and it made me feel more comfortable with him with him because i had went to somebody else who did do it that just, yeah you took your money like and then they just take your money and then when you get in the car, you like, yeah, what the what? <laughs> you looking like, bro? Like, for sure, you, you definitely know? need those engineers that care. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you, you got like an engineer that you and built a relationship with? Yeah, Makai. Yeah, yeah okay. uh, at Max Factory. For um, sure. Oh yeah, you right. Th- you right down yeah. the street. That's a uh, ain't that's down on like Inkster and like Nine Mile or something. Oh my yeah, it's on Nine Mile. Yeah, like yep. a house, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I stay yep. right down the street from there. Yeah, I know Zach. I pass that all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, no, you do need that engineer that you can trust, and you know they're not yeah. just gonna have you like, hey, take your, give me your sixty dollars an hour and go yeah. with the business. Yeah, I'm just going ahead. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> now, now, what do you need, man? I know you're too young to do dibble and dab in the things that you, you know, say some rappers and singers do. Mm-hmm. If you do do it, don't tell me. But, <laughs> but what's some things that you need that like? Do you need people with you? Do you need like alone? Like how how do you alone? Yeah. I think, I, man. When I'm alone, I feel like I get into a whole different mm-hmm. zone. zone and just in general. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I get into a whole different bag when I'm like alone and I sit there and, you know, I, and I think about my craft. For sure. And For sure. About what I need to do. Now, man, April 7th. I, you know, I, w- I wanted to make sure that I was like I told you off camera that you the last stop was gonna be here. And I know I had yeah. that all, you know. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, right, he gonna go. To, he gonna go a couple places. Let me be a last stop. You right. feel me? I like you know. Forget the first. Ended up the finale right here. Yeah, on yeah. best podcast in the city. Your yes. favorite podcast in Detroit. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, April seventh, man, you dropping a uh, Heartbreak City. You gonna have a um, you gonna have a listening um party and stuff. A couple yes. of acts that's gonna be there. Yeah. I think this is your what your third full length project. Yes, yeah, yeah, this gonna be my third. Yeah. So, are you a uh, like? Are you nervous? Like, or when you drop music, do you be like, "Damn, I wonder how people gonna you know take?" Oh to- yeah, definitely. Yeah. All, the, all the time, I always think like you know because I, I I put so much time into this album and actually, um, around I made this album. I started on this album in like twenty twenty, mm-hmm. but I put it on hold because of what it may watch that black boy fly because i feel like that was the appropriate time yeah to make that album with, with the george floyd situation sure, yeah. so, so i kind of put heartbreak city on hold mm-hmm. but um you know i started working on it again and um yeah i i definitely always feel like man i really hope you know people you know gonna like this album mm. I hope that I gave, you know, as much as I promoted it, I hope it live up to how much I promoted it and For stuff, sure. you know? Yeah. Now, I got this one thing called, uh, so you, uh, with with that, like, before I get to my last, my um, next question, are you, what, what are you looking for out of this project? Are you looking for, like, more fans? Are you looking for, you know what I'm saying, people start looking at you and talking to you about deals? Like, what you looking for as um, far as this project? This project, I just want people to know that this is only one Jackson. Like, mm-hmm. this is, this is one of you know the best versions of me and um that i can touch into different genres mm-hmm. and touch into different bases in this album um that you know that's that's one of the main goals and just have people understand and feel the album for sure know, because yeah. this this album is about um you know feeling and reflection of love you mm-hmm. know so now like you say on black boy uh the black boy uh fly, fly yeah. and your uh, album before that you were doing a lot of rapping are you like yeah. more your singing bag and that's yeah one? yeah so this is the one this is you know who i am mm-hmm. you know i'm i'm more of a singer mm-hmm. i'm more of a that's that's you know what i do for sure yeah, you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is um like i said the first two I just was kind of rapping, mm-hmm. you know, because originally, like I said, Heartbreak City was yeah. supposed to come out. First, but, yeah, yeah. But, 
you know, I felt like it was more appropriate to rap yeah. to watch that Black Boy Fly. For sure, for sure, for sure. That's nothing that Drake gotta do become legendary. He gotta make a all rap album. We know you're saying. That's my bars. That's all uh, uh, bars. Yeah. I okay. I'll agree with you on that one. Yeah. I, I think Drake. I think Drake need one of them. Bro, he he need an album where he just straight rap because he can rap. No, he dude. can. He can for sure. He he can rap. Yeah. Dude, when he mad, he can rap. Hell yeah. But he yeah, got, you know, what I'm saying you got to get from fifteen to five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. He he got enough albums to where. Yeah. He he can make a full rap like we we know you can sing. No, for sure. We know you can sing you can make the ladies. Song for the ladies. Yeah, yeah but... we know we know that we just need one. One heat, one one of them. One. Now talk about the bars. I usually, you know, take a line or whatever or a song and we talk about it real quick. Okay. So on uh on the song Perfect Home, you said uh trying to contact with my father, he won't answer calls. Mm. Talk about that because you mentioned um uh, growing up and you mentioned your mom, your grandma, you mentioned uh, your step pops. Yeah. But like, what about your real pops? Like, do you got a relationship with them? Like, nah, not at all. He, yeah. um, you know, nah, I seen him here and there once mm -hmm. when I was younger, like mm -hmm. when I was really young. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, that's why I said that bar because, you know, I, I don't have any type of mm -hmm. connection with him at all. For sure. So, so that's why my stepdad, like, he more of my dad, yeah. me, you know. It was, you know, it's always a difference between a father and a dad. For sure, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Not for sure. Now, do that, like, do that help you, like, because you can take that and flip that and make it something that you build off of. Do that help you, like, all right, I got to make sure I'm this type of dude, or I got to make sure I, you know, he know who I am, or what he messed up on, or what he lost out on. Like, yeah. do you got, do you feel like you got a point to prove by him not being around, or you just um, whatever? Not really. Yeah. That that's the crazy thing. I I just I really feel like I I go hard for my, you know, for myself and my my mother. Mm -hmm. Like, but I I've never been the type to think of like. Oh, I gotta go hard so I can prove to yeah, him sure. like what he you know, because at the end of the day it's like, you know, I don't even really think about it. Yeah, you know, for sure. Because yeah. it's like, you know, nah. you you on the round and if you know, if you try to come around and you know Wait, now if he ever wanted to make that connection, you know what I'm saying, would you would you allow it? You know, I had to learn from reading in the Bible to forgive yeah. a lot. And I'll put my pride to the side and, yeah. you know, have a talk with him. You yeah, know, it's sure. not, it's never too late to rekindle it. Yeah. Just don't wait till you blow up. Yeah. 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 Just don't wait. No, sure. Don't wait. You know, when I blow up, don't be like, all right, man, I want to sit down and no, nah. you know, but, um, you know, definitely, like I said, forgiving is one of the uh, biggest things and not holding that in and mm -hmm. holding that against them sure. the whole life it, it, it'll make me happy yeah you know? yeah yeah no for sure and speaking of lebron on lebron dad kicking his so mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you gotta be the dumbest person in the world. Oh, man. Oh my goodness. But when you your kids, bro, you got you gotta step up, man. You gotta step up. Like even if to. you and you and the lady don't work out, like I man, I got three kids. My oldest son is with my you know high school girlfriend. We didn't work out, but we was able to, you know, still keep a friendship in order to raise our son. Yeah. And it's never no beef, never no problems. I just never understood like I got family members and friends and stuff like, bro, how can you just dip right, like right, right. Like, uh, I forget that. Right. <laughs> right. No, I feel yeah. that. No, for sure. Now, on the same on the same song, you said, uh, scared of the day is when I'm going to take my last breath. Mm. You being young, do you act, do you think about stuff like that, bro? Like All the time. Yeah. Like, I always think about, and it's not like a anybody after me. I feel like anybody after me or anything, but mm. sometimes I, I, I sit there and I think about it and yeah. be like, you know, like, we don't have a date mm -hmm. you know we don't have a date and so it's important to live your life to the fullest now you mm -hmm. know and you know go out and and try different things and experience different things because you know you never know when god or whoever you believe in is gonna call for you no for sure so yeah. i definitely think about that yeah i do too i mean like, damn, like i gotta get this stuff you know yeah, yeah, like, man, man i'll be like you think about you that. think about yeah. it yeah because it's such a crazy world man what you know so yeah, for sure for sure yeah like i said you can't you can't just you can't live with regrets like if you want to do it you just got to do it right you feel me if you got something you want to do and you, you, like, oh man, I ain't got this or ain't the right time. No, forget that. Right. The time is now, so just go ahead and do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Exactly. Now, um, on life, you said I thank my mom every day for making me independent. Sometimes we could put pressure on ourselves to make sure that the ones that we care about, like we can make sure we can repay them. Mm. Do you put pressure on yourself, making sure like I can repay my mom or my grandma, make sure they living good. 
Yeah, sometimes I do that because I, you know, I just it's, like I said, my my mom she made me grow up to be independent a mm. lot, mm -hmm. and so I feel like you know I always, you know, no matter what she say, I always want to prove that I can, you know, be independent mm. and that I can provide the the services that she gave to me. Yeah. You know? So um definitely my mother my mother and my grandma, they they are, you know, what make me drive the mm -hmm. most. And and you know, it, it, it does feel like pressure sometimes yeah. once again because I am the only one. For sure. It's, 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 so it's yeah. to that. You know? Yeah. Now now it could be worse. This line had me thinking about uh, I don't know if you went to the show All American. Okay. You watch that show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know all that. It's actually kind of like talk about this line was kind of like a reflection of the last episode. Uh when he was like, People come through my life, I just um I just just to see them turn around. Mm, yeah. And he was kind of like going through some junk when he was talking to his uh therapist about like they kind of got to the stem of his anger is that he like felt like everybody was passing away, was just leaving them or people coming to his life and then turn back around. Right. So is is that something that you was faced with, you know, now or prior to, you know what I'm saying, prior years? Yeah. Um I, I you know, I felt like it was it was people in my life that 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 was an influence on me, mm -hmm. but then, you know, yeah. obviously turns out they wasn't. No, for sure. They, you know, they they stab you in the back and they turn on you. So, um, yeah, I said that line because it's it's a true story. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen so many people come through my life, and then I've seen them, yeah. you know, fade fade away for sure you no know, definitely fade yeah. away no for sure but like i said like they, that, I, when i heard that line i just thought about that song you feel me that, that episode now you got a song rest in peace mj yeah that's like a play on the on the jackson name or just like that's your that's the artist you looked up to because no matter how old you are my son yeah. is six and be dancing on michael jordan i mean michael jordan michael jordan jackson <laughs> michael jackson. still on this top three stuff man <laughs> top michael jackson so when you yeah. made that song was it was that your tribute to Michael Jackson? Because that's what you you know like growing up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That that actually that is Michael Jackson. I know I said Kendrick is my favorite artist, but Michael Jackson the reason that I wanted to start doing music for sure in general because it, it was like it was Michael Jackson. Yeah, like was, for sure. He made music. He made. I feel like he made music life. Mm -hmm. like, you know, he had like, people passing out like had people. We, you go come in, you come into a concert and you see your girl pass, yeah. so he'll be like, you feel your girl pass out for a man? I'll be like, <laughs> you know, I'll, be, I'll be like, I know this man ain't just, you know, you looking at her on the ground, you got to look at her on the ground, like, you know what, ambulance, y'all can take her home. Go ahead, you can have her. <laughs> go and take her to Mike. <laughs> no, I mean, no, that's that's funny. I can ask this question off of that. You, uh, we talking about passing out. You mm -hmm. at a concert with your lady, and y'all having a good time, man. It's date night. Right, right. You take her, you, you took her out to eat. Now y'all going to a concert, but it's a Chris Brown concert. And he oh. points to your girl and say, "Come over here, so I can, you, you know, what I'm saying I want to dance on you." <laughs> are you cool? Like, how you are you gonna give her a look like? You better not go up there. <laughs> yeah, she, I don't want to saw that. It's just and she oh. there, you leave it like, all right, I'm out. Because Chris Brown, he dancing hard, he's sweating. <laughs> yeah, sure though. He's sweating and he dancing and it's like it's Chris Brown. Like, how you, what you gonna do? You gonna nudge your girl? Like, you better not go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at her. I'm gonna for sure look at her. Like, <laughs> but I listen. That that I that's a tough situation because I always be looking at it like, oh, like I understand it's for entertainment. Yeah, purposes. for sure. Because. I, I'm an artist myself, yeah. and I know that one day <laughs> I'll, I'm not. I might yeah. not have to go to that yeah, for to sure. that extreme, but you know, one day I'm gonna probably have to do it. Yeah. And so, in a certain way, it's like, I'm so, like those, I gotta come to. I gotta. Those singers, man, something different, man. Yeah. I remember what? I mean, we don't talk about R. Appreciate Kelly, but R. Kelly had like girls pat them on his tongue with a towel, like that. Oh, yeah. like, See, like that. <laughs> it, it's that's a little too far. I was like, all right. But this. then she come back to you, like, yeah, he smelled good. Like, yeah, no, that's what. Yeah, right, right at home. Silent. So, you ain't never listened to Chris Brown song again. You ain't never. Every time Chris Brown come on, turn them off. No, now I'm sure, gonna hear for it. Sure, for sure. Now, and that's you know because you could talk about like with music, mm -hmm. like your lady, like do if you dating or you with a young lady, do she got to play? Do your music got to be in her rotation? 
Because when I was rapping, when I tried to rap, I was mad that my wife now, she was my girlfriend at the time, was playing T Grizzly, but I just put out some music. Mm-hmm. So no, he from Detroit. You you going crazy on this song, yeah, but you ain't right. saying not one bar on my tongue. Like uh, yeah, no, I'm to, uh, I think it. I, it's a, I think it got to be genuine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think it got to be genuine, and don't put me in your rotation yeah. just because. Oh, you my you my boyfriend, so yeah. I'm gonna put you in. No, like, but I, I had to, I also had this conversation with my mom too. Mm-hmm. I think that the the reason that happens is because. They like the music and they they can relate to it mm-hmm. and they don't see that person for sure yeah, every yeah. day, so they try to find a way to relate to them and that's through music. Yeah, because you know, of course, like if your cousin rapping, it's like oh, I'll see him every yeah, day. I know who he is. Yeah. I know what he's about to talk about for sure and stuff like that. But I feel like what that's why like celebrities are glorified so much because you can't touch them every day. See, that's why you got to your girl touch on Christmas. Yeah. Wait, you see what I mean? Like you, that's why when they, they come to the concert, they pass it out because it's like I never got a chance. I, it's unacceptable, but I, you know, it's, it's still unacceptable. That's the problem. Like you just passed out with Usher, like you didn't pass out. Like when you, when I walk in the door, you they don't pass out. You know what I'm saying? You went crazy, like man, yeah. like Michael Jackson had white girls pass out. You know that's a different. Oh yeah, yeah that's on a different level. By standing there though, didn't say say a word. Yeah. And I understood. I saw you. Yeah, dudes passing oh, off. Y'all, y'all pass out together like <laughs> that. A crazy couple. <laughs> that's a different combination. <laughs> now you did say something. I understood what you were saying, bro. You was on another show and you had mentioned about Michael Jackson and uh, Prince. And you said uh-huh. Prince do more. Oh yeah, because Prince was yeah. dancing high heels, like Dan- yeah, dancing he high awesome. heels, yeah. and guitars, I, playing everything. I always say like Michael Jackson, obviously my favorite, but I do think I think Prince was the more talented, and I think he was under he he was the LeBron in this situation. Yeah, Once again, yeah, 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 you got you right. Yeah, he was the LeBron in this situation, and I think, but I I do feel like Prince don't get enough mm-hmm. credit as he did. Like he, I feel like he's he's glorified but not that much yeah, yeah, yeah. i think he more glorified from like the older crowd michael yeah. jackson like like i said babies right now is growing up and they know who michael jackson yeah. is and stuff yeah. like michael jackson is, is overall like everybody love michael jackson right you feel me but prince like you said he played everything he did everything he was a little man dancing in heels like right you know right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. like in high heels yeah, like he bro was that's hard women in the heels too yeah he, he'll definitely pull he'll pull your woman for sure with the heels the heel, makeup on tight pants tight pants and all of that man he <laughs> ain't <laughs> so complicated man yeah he yeah that's why i say but i just feel like michael jackson obviously it's different with Mike. Mike can't go to a basketball game. No, they had to shut it. the game down because Mike came in and they was like, "Yep, turn them right back yeah. around." Man, and it's hard to—I know it's hard living that type of life. It bro. is. It is. Because you, know? you think like LeBron. Think about somebody like him. That he can't just go to Walmart. Like, yeah, oh no, that? no, no, no. No matter if he go in the suburbs, the hood, they know who he is, man. So they they know who he is, and the women know who he is. Yeah, it's like all of everybody. Like you, you see a six eight man. Yeah, for sure. that, that ain't normal. Who yeah, know? No, for sure, for sure. So I'm still thinking about that Chris Rogers. Man, that Chris. That's hilarious, man. man. Because then, what if on the on the flip side, what if Tiana Taylor? Caught your girl but dance on her like you cool with that huh? Yeah, right, right. That that's that, 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 that yeah. reverse psychology. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Exactly, man. That's funny, man. Hey, man, don't let y'all girls go dance with Chris, man. Because he be getting down too. I be watching little video. Chris is gonna get y'all right. <laughs> he gonna have y'all single by the end of the night. Yeah. Y'all better chill out. <laughs> no, for sure. What's your definition of success, man? When like when it's all said and done, what's success for you? Is it is it money? Is it just being able to do what you want to do? I think the success is doing what you want to do i mm-hmm. think uh, you can't take a green piece of paper to the grave with you yeah so i feel like money ain't everything mm-hmm. and everybody i feel like a lot of people try to get into it because of money mm-hmm. but in reality you you're not gonna get oh, you know you're not gonna be successful that way mm-hmm. because you have to you gotta get into what you want to do in mm-hmm. life for sure and that's obviously if it's music if it's basketball mm. if it's you know art whatever yeah. it is 
the the reason people get rich off of it is because it's something they want to do mm -hmm. you know like you can you can say like you know lebron grew up he wanted to play basketball that's sure. what he wanted to do it he didn't look at it like oh i want to get rich and play but yeah, like man. no 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 no. You, it has to be in your heart yeah you no know? nah. because when it's in your heart you're gonna go the extra mile and when you're just doing for money it's gonna it's gonna show it's With gonna that. show yeah, yeah exactly it's gonna show by the way you move by the way you talk mm -hmm. and you know yeah so. no for sure now man i do this thing called you know making a band back in the day diddy had to show making a band he picked five people but this is your band you and four other people making one album who gonna be on that album it could be industry singers rappers producers you and four other people who making the only one jackson band um brent fire okay drizzy yeah you are you, you gotta say drake <laughs> Driz, drizzy yeah. um you got two more let's see kanye mm-hmm Gay for yep. sure. All right, and hmm. hey, we still got house from y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah. Um, we old school. And, uh, I'm trying to think yeah. of one more. Yeah, so you say you got Brett Fry as uh Drake, you Kanye, Kanye West. Who the, who the who the fifth? The last one gotta hmm. be the headphone ring like a mother too. Oh yeah. Um. It could be a producer or anything. It's always hard when you get that last one. Yeah, it's the the first <laughs> one is getting you me. Start thinking like, you start thinking like you start thinking like what what type of project you like a your project whatever however you want it to be. Cole. All right, J Cole. Cole. Okay, yeah, that's, Cole. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Now, what if you want to do industry, Detroit? Like your your list of people you want to work with right now. Who will be on the album? Like oh, um. Definitely bad A T. Okay. Um, he's a lo local. Yeah, artist. I ain't had to toss one. I gotta get him yeah. on the show and stuff. Um, let's see, Kyle Devine. Okay, I did. He work with. He be doing yeah, a lot of stuff with Diamond. Diamond. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's three. Me and him got something in the works too. For sure. But um, like I said, I would love to work with Baby Babyface. Babyface, right? Babyface, yeah. Ray. Yeah, I would love to work with him too. And sure. then, me too, man. Come on the podcast. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Come on the podcast, yeah, sure. man. The, the littest podcast yeah. in Detroit. You already know, man. He said it. And, <laughs> and uh, That's one. definitely Soda Baby. Okay, man. Yeah, because Soda Baby just like man, he be yeah, bring that yeah, yeah, for like, sure. I, I feel like he'll never disappoint your record. Yeah, yeah, no, he won't. What's your advice to an up and coming rapper, man, or a singer, just an artist in general, like? How should they start? Where should they start? You know what I'm saying? What's your advice to them? Definitely find your sound. Mm -hmm. Find what you want because um, a lot of people, they don't know their sound and mm -hmm. they try to like just hop into a whole bunch of stuff. But mm -hmm. you, you, once you find your sound, um, take that, start writing it and start putting your all into it mm -hmm. and then perfect it, you That's know? Cool. And of course, like I'm not perfect now, but you mm -hmm. know, I feel like I'm at a state where I know what, you know, I know my sound and I know what I want to mm -hmm. uh, sound like in the industry and yeah. stuff like that. But, and definitely marketing and, and putting stuff on your Instagram page. You no, know, you got to and being, you know, you got to be active. active on the, sure. You got to be active. You can't, you know, just be like, okay, I'm going to post this one day and then yeah. a month. <laughs> you know, you coming with some new content. So. I, know, yeah, I know a lot of people that be on the show like, bro, you don't, you going to post enough. You're right. Like, you got to yeah. post. Yeah, 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 definitely. You got to, you have to post in order for people to not forget you. Mm, yeah. Because sure. once you're not posting, they're going to forget yeah. you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, with this album dropping, are you going to sit on this and like kind of like just promote this for the rest of the year? Or are you going to get that and just think about the next album immediately? Yeah, that's that's what that, that that's the plan because it took so long and mm -hmm. it, it it was a it was a process making this. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I'm definitely right now in a state where we we gonna try to market this this year mm-hmm. because we 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 want this to be heard, For sure. you know, yeah. globally. Like we want it to be heard. Yeah, outside of Detroit, you so, know. Yeah. yeah. So, but I am working on another album mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, yeah, because the other one's done. Mm-hmm. So I am working on another album. Um, you know, like I'm gonna still drop singles here and there, but that's gonna be the focus this year, just that whole album. For sure, for sure. Um, we get towards the end, man. Top three, give me your top three celebrity crushes. Celebrity crushes. You want to say childhood, but you still, you know, you just. <laughs> I used to say childhood crush, like, but oh, you know what's crazy? I don't have. This is the crazy part. I don't have celebrity crushes. All right, well, when you was younger, then when you was like, him. oh, when I was younger, yeah, give me middle school, high school celebrity crushes. Uh, let's see, who'd you rocking with as a kid? Rihanna, okay, okay <laughs> Rihanna, yeah. Rihanna, of course. Um, um, let me think. Yeah. Like Rihanna, Beyonce, Tiana Taylor, yeah, 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 yeah like sure. them, them. Right. Like when I was in like high school. But once again, like I never, I never been to do. I never been to somebody who been like, oh, I like I got yeah, a celebrity yeah, crush. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Me your top three, top three fools. Maybe. Top three fools. Yeah. Man, chili cheese fries. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, crab. No, on the cheese though, you get squeeze cheese or sliced cheese. No, nah, slice. Yeah, you got to have a slice. Like, no slice, man. You yeah. gotta have a slice. But chili cheese fries, lobster. Yeah, oh yeah, you got you got the Mercedes and lobster. You get that. Oh man, you the man, dog. <laughs> man, no, and um, let's see what else. I love crab legs. She yeah. she the reason I love. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah I, chili cheese fries, my face. See, I be getting the crab. We go to this one little um RE buffet called uh, Fiji out in Troy. They be having like they be having a. Like, Oh, you can eat. They got the crab legs over there too. Yeah, we be going crazy. Me and my wife, dog. Yeah, yeah, that's my spot right there, dog. I gotta, I gotta stop over there. Yeah, a little Japanese little buffet, but they got the little. On, but now on Sundays, don't go on Sundays. They don't have the lobster tails on Sundays. Okay, I mean um the crab legs on Sundays. On Sunday, you gotta make sure you go every day but Sunday. <laughs> okay, so we you know they was mad at them all. Like what the, the what the crab legs at? Like you do it on Sunday. Like damn. What, what about your uh? Give me your hoodie. So you say uh? You say shit. You, you say crab legs and and chili cheese for us. Oh. You ain't got no third. What was it? I said lobster, I think. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, give me your top three snacks. Snacks? Um, I like the um, uh, Ritz cheese. Okay. The little cracker. Yeah, 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 for sure. I like those. I like... um. That's some granddad uh, <laughs> snacks right there. <laughs> man, they, them things bang. Man. <laughs> I swear, I, I could eat a whole pack of them. Yeah. Um... Definitely, I like I like barbecue lays. Okay, and what's another snack? I like I like uh, Twix. Okay, all right. Give me your top three movies. Top three movies, man. Straight out of Compton. Okay, that was my that was my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I used to watch that every day. I got tired. I used, of it. Yeah, I used to watch that junk like every day. Yeah. Um. Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, though, because my me and my grandfather, we used to watch. Okay, that so they got a meaning about it. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a meaning behind it. Okay. And then, um, let's see, probably up, 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 up is uh, it's a Disney movie. Okay, okay. that's yeah. another that's another yeah. movie I used to watch with him. For sure, them, them for sure, are my top three favorites. Top three TV shows. Um. Raising Canaan. Yeah, I gotta get hip to Raising Canaan, man. man. You ain't hey, I watched all, one. all the ones, but that one. Raising Canaan for sure. Okay. For, the Fresh Prince is really good, so I gotta watch that as soon as I get home. Yeah, I gotta get hip. I ain't watched the new yeah. season yet. Um, all right, so you say Raising Canaan. <laughs> and um, what's I'm sorry, I seen a comment. Oh, no, I'm talking about what you say? Let's go ahead. So, but uh, he, he know I want to say Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's the it's this thing me and my friend do yeah, yeah, uh, from the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> Talking about the Muffin Man. <laughs> Shout out to the Shrek lovers out here, dog. We yeah. love and um, <laughs> my bad. That just told me. <laughs> and then um, let's see. Empire. I ain't gonna lie. Empire had a peak. 
Yeah, it, it was it was nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To to a certain season, like the first two seasons, yeah, yeah, yeah. was crazy good. But after that, I couldn't. I'm so glad. You said Empire. You said Razor Canyon. What was your other one? Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Okay, okay. The, the new, new one. one. The new Bel Air. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I like the new one. Boy, Coco Jones. No, Boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I like. To the, uh, yeah, I like the new one over the um the old. No, for sure. So, see, no, it ain't that like the classic boy. No, oh my, no, look, 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 it's different. No, it's different now. It's, it's different, different now. Different. The only thing I like better on this was Coco Jones. Like the Coco, the Coco. That's it. Everybody, be, everybody loves Coco. Know, but you know, everybody you know. loves Coco, yeah, man. man. Yeah, I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, Coco. <laughs> give me. I know you're young, but so far, give me your top three moments in life. Um. One of my top three moments for sure, I was on um, on my on prom. I remember one day they they played my uh, song on the bus mm -hmm. on the party bus. Okay, that that was that's a top three moment. Yeah. Um, me and my boys listening to CLB mm -hmm. uh, Drake album. That's a top three moment for me in life. Dang, Drake, he yeah. you made his top moment. <laughs> No, cause that 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 night was like it was it was nice, man. It was it was cool. And then um another one, of course. Let me see. Another one, of course, is my um well, me and my mom, we we used to go well we where did we go? I think we went to to Red Lobster. Mm-hmm. And we just had like a really good conversation, yeah. just in general, yeah. about life. No conversation, good. So you not one of those dudes at the dinner table, just like no, 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 no. I don't know. I we yeah. don't play that. We don't yeah. do the phones at the at the table with yeah. anybody. You know. For sure. like, uh, now nowadays, prom is crazy because you said your song was being played on the bus. How much? How much you had to pay for the prom? Like, how much was prom? My my I'm, yeah, I'm, no, everything. Shit. <laughs> See, my mom, she knows, she knows. 15? That night was great. Damn. Drake. I ain't, I ain't want them, but she kind of yeah. suggested them to me. And I was like, all right. You may not, I know for I sure. Turn it down. Right? You know what I'm saying? I know for sure you had to, you were showing, you were showing ankles, right? Yeah, you had to show ankles, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what, what, man, what are, we got the no, we ain't got a picture. I, I ain't gonna lie, that the, the proms. No, yeah, we got that certain like the little picture. Just, the, no, cause what's up with that? Like my son, like like what's up with the ankles got being shown? Like it's like just so you can see everything, like the, the whole shoe. I, I mean, it's just that's how the pants was built. So <laughs> like, just, like, I was like, I just was like, well, you like, know what? See, Cam muscles and ankles in this boy, like yeah, yeah gotta show off them. No, yeah. but that's not. Bro, my son is a sophomore. I'm already thinking about how much money I'm about to save now for that day, man. Oh yeah, like like for the homecoming. I was like, dang, I, boy, this is homecoming. Like you gotta make sure you fly for homecoming. Oh well, so, yeah, I only went to homecoming once. Yeah, but but so but, prom, you, prom. you? I know you had a date, right? You had a date. Oh uh, no, remember we couldn't really. Oh, yeah, yeah, we couldn't have a date. We couldn't. Dang. Like we, yeah. my prom, I probably spent about. I, I complained for prom because like, my son, and mom. Uh -huh. We had we had kids. So it's like, we had kids. We had to have a babysitter for prom. Oh man! So we had that whole prom experience. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, yeah. So and I paid for her dress. I paid for my. I I got you know that good them, them white tit tech shoes. I ain't get no you know Gucci loafers nothing like that. Yeah. I probably paid about twelve hundred for both of us. But we ain't had no room. I used his truck. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. His truck was that boy was hard. Part that big suburban dog. Yeah, so our prom was totally different, bro. You say three thousand? Yeah, our prom, but yeah, well, I had a setup. Oh yeah, for the little send off and stuff, the little chairs and. Yeah, I know. Her mom buy a dress. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. It was cool, but that boy got um, that boy eating crab legs, got Mercedes. <laughs> three thousand. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and be on your. Uh, so, it's I see a jug. I need there's some people in here talking about they ain't have a prom 2020. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout out to y'all, man. Damn, it's messed up to y'all, man. Yeah, I know. I feel bad for them. Yeah. You know? I ain't our prom, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't It wasn't crazy either. Like Because you went to you went to Wall-A, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, how's that? Like, just 
we can get off. We might. I know. I'm, I don't want to keep you too long. But no, you good. Was that? Okay. Was that like? How was that? White school, mixed school, black and white. Like it was like I, I ain't gonna lie. It was. It was. It was a little mix. It was like by my junior year, mm -hmm. it became a little more mm -hmm. uh, Caucasian. Really? Yeah. But um, other than that, it was. I mean, can I ask that? Like, do you ever feel like you had to prove a point by not being in a Detroit public school? You ever feel like you had to prove, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you go, I went to a suburban school my first two years down, transferred to Southeastern Detroit. And a lot of times they look at somebody who went to Gross Point North, like, oh, you ain't straight enough, you ain't this enough, you ain't experienced that. Have you, did you ever like feel that way? Or it was just... like, the, it was flipped because I came from the OP school. Okay. They, they kind of was all, like, you to go to these. You say, OP yeah. is good. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I came from there. So when I, I, I did have some complications out yeah. in there because I wasn't used to being around, so, you know, white, white bro, people. It was so bad for me. I went to Gross Point North. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to black schools all my life. And my first year there, I went home. I cried. Uh, I'm like, Mom, I never seen me white people in my life. Man, get me back. I wanted to go to what did I, so bad. What did I tell you? I, one day, I look. I was. I would used to act bad on part. I'm like, I'm trying to go back to old part. Man, I don't want to be here with these, man, with these folks. But she knew what I was pulling, so she was like, Nah, he was gonna stay right here. Was but, hurt. I went like, Dog, what? I ain't never seen this many white people before. And I went home like, Mom, I I want to go to King. And she like, You go to King, you gonna catch the bus? I'm like, Oh no, nah, I'm good. Man. I go, I go to my little Gross Point North, man. No, but no, sometimes it could be hard getting adjusted yeah. to because you feel like you got, you know, a point to prove and jump. Yeah, no. You know yeah, definitely. That's why I was like, but I, I'm glad she did it because it, the education side of it was like good for me too. For sure. Like, I for definitely sure. learned. Did you experience any racism? Um, not not really. I, I'm going to keep it real. I ain't. You know, for sure. I ain't about to be one of them black people that's right. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, how right there. everything right now. I ain't, I ain't never really, you know, experienced nah. it out there. Oh man, not nah, man. You know, you, you, he might have changed it, dog. You know, because I said I don't talk to people under twenty one. Uh -huh. Last time I had um, an artist on here, I ain't gonna name names, of course. It was two of them, and they just didn't have nothing to talk about. Oh. So it's like before it when it started, it ended. No. Just because like everything, like, yeah. Okay, like it was just like dead drop. Dead. So I think I said I would never do this again. So when your uh, mom had reached out, you know what I'm saying? I, I did a little research. I see I had talked to you before too at uh -huh. the DM. Yeah. That's why I called the twins. Like, bro, how was their interview with, with, with Young Boy? And like, man, it was a good interview and stuff. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. I feel a little bit better now. Yeah. But no, like, you got something going on. Like, you got your head on right and stuff. Like, yeah, like no, I, I can see big things happening for you. Appreciate it, man. I, you know, I appreciate you having man. me on here. I had a great time. That 19, man, I ain't gonna lie. Only thing I was thinking about was, man, I don't look good. No, I, I wasn't thinking about nothing life related. Like, man, I'm. I told you, I I created a life. Like, oh yeah, because you said you, yeah, my son, yeah, yeah, like I said, my son be a, a, a prom, like we young parents, bro. Like yeah. my son got the youngest parents out of his friends at school. <laughs> yeah, like no, their parents in their forties. I'm in them uh, 35, 30, 30, You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, young sure. dog. So I'm coming to the game looking like him. Like, <laughs> not my about the sub. No, they, I'm be an old man with them. Like my daughter, she when she graduated high school, I already said I'm like, damn, I'll be fifty two. Man, like, dang, man. I'm thirty. I'm, I'll be thirty eight when my son graduate. Like man, it's gonna be a totally different. That's what's up, though, man. No, for sure, for sure, man. But no, you want to leave, leave people with anything, man? Any last comments and stuff? Um, yeah. I see a marriage yes. guy. You know, she got everything. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, teamwork, make the dream work. So, of course, April seventh, I got the um, you know, release party at Nineties Cafe. For sure. Doors will be opening at um eight p.m. Ten dollar entry. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I I just dropped two singles, um, Love Last and Poisonous Potion. I like that Love like, Last with the whole Keith uh Keith Swift. Yes, oh, you here. heard it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. That person have you on the show and then they don't be like don't know nothing about you. Yeah, no, I feel so, that. I'll hate when shows do that and just they learn about you on the spot. Yeah, no, I I appreciate it. No, for sure. Um, I got my own merch. This is my merch, Big Dog Drip. Okay. Um, you know, www.bigdogdrip dot com that's where you can go get it um the link is all in my in bio and then you know follow me on all platforms at only one jackson and you know stay updated on you know the album and the track list and you know sure. what's going on no i see i gotta go ahead and get some game for him I got, he got he got a website got clothes <laughs> mercedes <laughs> <Man>. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, we'll make like no for sure. No, I, I'm joking, but for real, for real. Like salute to you, dog. Like you like you know what you want to do and stuff, yeah. and you're going about it. Like I said, 19, I was just thinking about man, what kind of words to impress on females. Right. And like you said, when you thinking you got time, you look up, you're 25, yeah, no, you like no, no, you like I said, it ain't it ain't enough time in the yeah, world because sure. of course, you know, you always gonna have people that's gonna say that. No, nah. you know, you got time, but you know, you gotta you gotta work for it now because the younger you work for it, when you old, you ain't yeah. gotta worry about it. Yeah. Only thing I say to you, man, you know, of course do that, but still have fun too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a it's a balance. Yeah. Like you still wanna have fun and live your yeah. life, but you know, you still got to, you know, come out here and do your no, thing. No, for sure. For sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Have fun, but don't yeah. have too much fun that, you know, you got a little only one Jackson Jr. <laughs> but yeah. You don't want to, I don't think mine already for them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A little, yeah. little Jackson's in here, dog. Yeah. But no, I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. Appreciate you, man. Good luck on the uh, okay. uh, good luck on the um on the new project, man. Appreciate it. Make sure y'all go uh check that out, man. Heartbreak City, April 7th. Make sure y'all get with him, man. Show some love to my dog. Go get some some drip, man. Big dog yeah, drip. Pretty, yeah, big dog yeah. drip, man. You For can't sure. be a big dog without the drip. So, and like I said, man, hey, <laughs> three he he made top three in the up and coming stuff. So man, salute yeah. to you on that one. Appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. For sure. Now what this episode 155. Only one Jackson. Shad versus everybody. It's not Shad. Shad, Shad man, my bad. I came in talking about Shad and Shad, y'all. I'm so, this so, whole man. time. Yeah, man. Podcast MVP, man. Voice of Detroit. You already know what it is, man. Holla at y'all.